Hi, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you friends. So, we are going through solution of simultaneous linear equations and in the last session we have seen Kramer's method and we also looked into one example where we have e applied the concept of how to solve the simultaneous linear equations with Kramer's method. In this session we will look into matrix inversion method. We already know how to find out the inverse of a matrix. If we know there is a matrix A, we know how to find out its inverse. Now let us say these are the equations we have. Three equations we have like what we take always a1x plus b1y plus c1z equal to d1 respectively a2, a3 we have three of them. Okay. Now you know how you can write them in matrix format also. You know that already. That's nothing but you will get your quotient matrix out a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2, a3, b3, c3 into x, y, z is nothing but equal to d1, d2, d3. Okay. Let us name these matrices now. We will say this is A, we will say this is X, capital X, and this we will say this is equal to D. So we have three matrices now. I can write it in the format of A into X is equal to D. Can I say that? Yes. Now, what we want to find out solution means we have to find out the values of X, Y, Z. That means if I can get x, y, z on left hand side, the matrix x on the left hand side, on the right hand side I have something. So then I can find out the value by right hand side and equate it to values of x, y, z. Okay. Now what I want to do here, if you see here a x equal to d, we have we only want x, but we have a extra here, right? So I want to make that as identity. How I can do that? I know if there is A, I multiply that by A inverse, it will become nothing but equal to I. So I know that already. I know how to do that. So what I will do? I will multiply by A inverse. So I will say A inverse of AX equal to A inverse into D. Okay? Right. Now, this is nothing but equal to A inverse into A. Can I say X equal to A inverse into D? Now you can see now A inverse into A is nothing but equal to I. So I X equal to A inverse into D. That's nothing but equal to X equal to A inverse into D. What's the meaning of that? This is nothing but x equal to find out the adjoint matrix divided by determinant of the matrix and multiply it with the d1, d2, d3. So if you are able to do that, that will give you this is nothing but equal to your x, y, z values. If you are able to find out, if you are able to find out adjoint A by determinant A into D1, D2, D3, that will give you, it will give you 3 by 1 matrix, 3 rows and 1 column, that you compare the elements, you will have, you will get the values of x, y, z. So that is how we can use the matrix inversion method. So what I have to do? If they have given me three equations, I will form from the coefficients the matrix A and from the constants I will get capital D. Then I will simply say X, Y, Z or X matrix is nothing but equal to A inverse that is adjoint A by dot A into D1, D2, D3. So we will leverage this formula and solve some simple examples in the next session. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. In the next session, we will solve examples based on matrix inversion method.